What are some of the learning theories that Singapore mathematics is based on? These are the learning theories that all pre-service teachers are taught at the National Institute of Education in Singapore. Richard Scam distinguished between different types of understanding, conventional understanding, conceptual or what he referred to as relational understanding, and procedural or what Scam calls instrumental understanding. In Singapore mathematics, all procedural knowledge is well supported by conceptual understanding. The Singapore mathematics curriculum requires students to be able to explain whatever they do. To put it simply, whatever you are doing, can you explain it? That is based on Richard Scam's idea of relational and instrumental understanding. Singapore mathematics focuses a lot on conceptual understanding to accompany procedural fluency. Let's look at one example. How do we teach half divided by one six? The teacher would use fraction this such as this. Let the circle represent one. If the circle represent one, then this would represent half. And one of these six pieces would represent one six. How do children learn half divided by one six? The teacher will then ask them, you would remember that you were doing twelve divided by four. In twelve, how many groups of fours are there? And the children will be able to say there are three groups of four in 12. Using the understanding of 12 divided by 4, children can then learn what is half divided by 1 6. The sixth grade teacher, that's when this topic is taught, will then ask the students in half, how many 1 6 are there? And the children can easily figure out either through concrete materials or by drawing, that is visuals, they are then able to say that, oh, in half, there are three one six. Hence, half divided by one six is the same as three. Let's look at something slightly more challenging. What if we are not discussing about 1 6 anymore. Instead, let's talk about half divided by 1 third. Using the same conceptual understanding, the teacher will then ask the students in half, how many 1 thirds are there? This is a 1 third, isn't it? Why is this 1 third? It's probably not easy to see straight away, but with concrete materials, Many students will say, oh, of course this is one third, because three of these make up a whole. In half, how many one thirds are there? It's pretty obvious that there's one. But there's still a little bit left, isn't it? Through the use of concrete materials, as well as some class discussion, perhaps using a drawing, many children will then say, I, I think there is one and a half of one third in half. In half, there is one one third, and there is another half of one third. So really, in half, there is one and a half of one third. And able to understand that half divided by one third is equal to one and a half. This is an example of the emphasis on conceptual understanding instead of just the procedure. In a Singapore mathematics textbook, that is how we teach the topic of division by a fraction. It's through the use of concrete material, visuals, as well as the use of appropriate language, such as in five, how many halves are there, when doing five divided by half, or in three, how many three-fourths are there, in doing 3 divided by 3, 4. The emphasis is on conceptual understanding instead of merely asking the students to change the division into multiplication 
and then to invert the second fraction, which is merely procedure. What is a spiral approach? The spiral approach is based on Jerome Brunner's ideas. Based on Jerome Brunner's words, spiral approach is to get children to go back to the core ideas repeatedly, but each time at a higher level, until eventually the abstract representation is acquired. You would notice the emphasis on going back to the core idea, but each time at a higher level. It is not to teach the topic again and again, but to teach the topic at a higher level. 